Hey everybody, this is Alex Bourne from Rockwell Guitar School in Shoreview, Minnesota. This is a bare bones lesson. I'm going to teach you how to play pretty much most of um, Johnny Cash's Man in Black song. Okay? So, um, notice I have a capo on the first fret. Okay? You're going to want to do that too. Um, if you don't know what a capo is, sounds like you got some homework. Um, you're also going to need to know an A chord. You're going to need to know a B chord. You're going to need to know a D chord. Um, and an E chord. Alright? So let me play this song for you, then I'll show you what you need to know. Alright? So. So if you already know those chords, you are very, very far along in learning this song. All I really want to show you is how to play a country style strum, okay? And this is also know, known as Carter strumming um, because the Carter family kind of pioneered this style. But basically, on each chord, I'm treating it in a certain way, in the same way. I have like a formula that I'm applying to each chord that makes it sound like a country arrangement, okay? And that's this bass line thing of... Okay, so you're going to need to know um, what the root chord of each of your chords is, and also what the fifth in each chord is, okay? And if you don't know it, I'll show you, um, but if you know the theory, you can just, you can basically just take off with it, run with it on your own, okay? So, okay, so on the A chord, for example. Gosh, that's something out of the tune. Um, the open A string is the root note. And then the the E, you can use the low E string, is going to be your root, uh, your fifth note, okay? So A is the root, E is the fifth. Now, you want to alternate. You want to play the start, starting with the root, and then hit the chord twice, then hit the root, then hit the chord twice, root, fifth, root, fifth, so on and so forth. Now, you can do this for each of your chords, okay, so on the B chord, fifth string, second fret, that's your root, then, Moving my finger down to the sixth string, second fret. That's the fifth of the chord. So you go. Okay. Now the D chord. Obviously, the open D string is going to be your root, and the next string lower, which would be your A string, open A, is going to be your fifth. So root, root five, root. again now the E chord obviously the low E is going to be your root now the fifth string second fret that's the fifth of your chord so okay so you have a bar and a half of the A the first time around chord for one more. Now, so A for two beats, sorry, D for two beats, A for two beats, D for two beats, A for two beats. And then the B chord, four bar, and then E chord four bar. Alright, so once again, right, that's how you do it. 
Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to uh, don't forget to hit like right down there if you like this video and if you enjoyed it. If not, that's cool. I guess I just didn't meet the expectations. Um, and share it with your friends. Okay. Thank you for watching. Peace.